What's going on guys? Welcome back to CNC Outdoors. Um, starting this video off in the garage. Just got done salmon fishing, so cleaning up the boat, putting rods away, all that good stuff. But um, this video is gonna be two different days. Um, one day, I think it was June, yeah, June 18th. I spent a good portion of the day trying to find some walleyes on Green Bay. If you know anything about the Green Bay situation the last month, uh, it's been pretty awful for walleye fishing. There's been alewives and white perch and trout perch. The walleyes just have a ton of food. They have not been eating very good, but I decided I'm gonna go try and cast for them. And I stuck a few, a lot of junk fish, a couple smallies, stuff like that. But um, the other portion of the video is I went out Friday, the uh, June 20th, I think it was. Um, did a little bit of perch fishing after work, a little last minute trip, but caught a few perch. So I'm just gonna combine those two videos. But um, anyways, the reason I'm starting this video off in the garage is um, Kurt over at Kate Outdoors, the rods that I've been using this year, well, been trying to use, the walleye bite has been terrible, but gonna get a lot more use out of them very soon, hopefully. Um, Kate Outdoors is running a deal starting July 1st. Um, he is gonna be doing free shipping. If you use my code CNC SHIP, you can get free shipping for the entire month of July, celebrating Independence Day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he doesn't usually throw out a lot of deals because his price point on his rods are already pretty low for the quality of rod that you get. Um, these things are freaking awesome. The little bit that I've been able to use them so far. There's a ton of different combinations you can get for the, the cork and the reel seat. You can customize the color of your thread along the whole rod, like literally any color you can pick out on the website. It's pretty awesome. Um, this is the 7.2 medium extra fast. I've been liking this one a lot so far for the shiver minnows and like rip jig and plastics and whatnot. But uh, yeah, super light rods good quality love them so far uh i actually started selling some of my saint croix because i'm using these guys and honest to god i i wouldn't be using them if they weren't good that's just kind of how i roll so yeah check these out kate outdoors on facebook and he's got a website too that'll all be linked in the video description below. Check them out. All right, we're gonna get into the video. Enjoy. going on guys welcome back to cnc outdoors just launched the boat ran to my first spot and we are out on green bay today um this is gonna be the first time in a while that i'm actually gonna commit my time to targeting some walleyes um as you probably know the bite on the bay has not been good or at least that's what people have been saying because the alewife population has been insane in the bay but we're starting to get a little bit warmer here now the alewives are starting to push north so we're in the lower bay today we're gonna fish some shallow rocks and see if we can't catch some walleyes i'm probably gonna start off with a quarter ounce and a plastic minnow style bait this is my six nine medium light it's my jig rod and then I also will be probably throwing my 7.2 medium fast action. So I've got a Procyon reel on this one and a Abu Garcia Revo X on this one. 
10 pound mono or 10 pound uh, fire line braid on both with a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I'm gonna get to casting. Hopefully we get some walleyes today. Come on walleyes. I know you're down there. We got one. Ate it off bottom. Just had one hit me out there. The cast before this one, actually. So I spot locked it. Man, what is this? What in the world do we got here? This is not a walleye. Holy crap. This is not a walleye. This might be a muskie or something. What is this? Literally just did a whole circle around the boat. And I cannot move it. This has got to be a pike or a muskie. It's not small though. Oh my god, this thing is huge, dude. What is that? Wow. I saw it, but I don't really know what it was. Big catfish or something? I don't think it's a catfish. Holy man. What is this? We're about to see it. It is a big freaking catfish. <laughs> wow. Not the right species, but it was kind of fun. Big old channel cat. Absolutely destroyed my jig. And I am not touching that thing because he is slimy as hell. See you later, dude. Uh-oh. I think we got another cat. Maybe. Yeah, that's gotta be another cat. Drum. <sighs> a little bit better than a catfish. All right, just started trolling. Cause it's the bite has been terrible I think I got a big smallie on what it looked like saw it jump I don't think I've ever caught a smallie trolling before
Oh yeah, that's what it is. Hmm. Fight's a lot harder than a wall, I know that. Not what we're after, but it's kind of cool. Oh, there it is, Mr. Smalley. Got something on the long line again. Probably not a walleye, but it's not a white perch. What do we got? Probably a sheep head. Oh man, saw the boat. He's mad. Mad sheep head, holy crap. Yep. Oh, that's so depressing. Hooked them right in the eyeball. Get out of here. Well, that took a very long time. Longer than I would like to admit, but we just finally got our first walleye of the day on camera. I caught one on my first cast off of camera, but hopefully, hopefully we just found something. That would have been a good eater, but I'm not going to keep them today. Got that on this little jerk minnow, Kalen's, Kalen's jerk minnow, quarter ounce jig head. That was literally the first cast on this spot, so please, please, please let there be more. Got something. Feels like a sheep head. It's gotta be a sheep head. Holy mackerel. Definitely a sheep head. Yep. Slimy, stinky, good for nothing sheep head.
Got something. It's a walleye. Another nice little eater. All right. Off in the net. These suckers are shallow. Found them super shallow, like four foot, five foot. Another nice little walleye. See you later, bud.